In this series, that is differential equation and uh, discrete mathematics, we are discussing the various rule which mention the integrating factor of a non particular kind of non exact differential equation. So in this today's session, we will discuss rule three, which says that given a non exact differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to zero, says that do n by do x minus do m by do y the whole thing by m is a function of y alone let me call it as phi of y then the integrating factor for this particular for this particular uh, equation is given by e raised to integral of phi of y dy so this phi this uh, difference upon m if it's a function of y alone then we can use this as an integrating factor in that case it falls in rule 3 so let's see some example illustrative example look at this so first always we need to verify whether this given equation we need to check whether the given equation is exact or not so for that we need to identify do m by do y and do n by do x in this case m is 3x square y raised to 4 plus 2xy and n is 2x cube y cube minus x square so do m by do y that is differentiating m with respect to y keeping x constant we get 12 x square y cube x square y cube plus this will be same as 2x and do n by do x will be same as 6 x square y cube minus 2x 2x so from here it is very clear that the given equation is not exact as do m by do y is not identically same as do n by dx so once it is non-exact we need to see whether we can solve it using any rule which is mentioned so now in this case so it's always a trial and error method we need to observe which rules fit best to solve a given differential equation so in this case let's see the if if we see the difference do n by do x minus do m by do y you will see that this has a like term 6 x square y cube minus 12 x square y cube that will give me one term uh, in terms of x square y cube and here you have minus 2x and minus 2x so that will give me one term in terms of x again and if you look at m if i take y common from this m you will see that you will get exactly a term similar to this so we are expecting to get uh, this term cancel and you get a function of y alone so in this case if i see do m by do do n by do x minus do m by do y it's same as do n by do x is 6 x square y cube minus 2 x and do m by do y so here you have minus 12x square y cube minus 2x that is exactly same as minus 6x square y cube minus 4x so that's your do n by do x minus do n by do y now if i divide this whole thing by m see you have a common factor if i remove y from here you will get a term exactly like this and some scalar constant around uh, that can be uh, removed so this becomes a function of y alone because y will be removed out from m so let us see let us write down this okay from this term i'll take a common two out minus two out so you will have minus two what will remain inside is uh, 3x square y cube plus 2x 
whole thing upon okay from here uh, now from m i'll remove y out and so you will have 3x square if i remove one y out you'll have y cube plus 2x into y so this and this gets cancelled and you have minus 2 by y and that is a function of y alone i call it as phi of y so this tell us that uh, the integrating factor is e raised to integral of phi of y dy and so hence integrating factor is e raised to integral of phi of y dy which is same as e raised to integral of minus 2 by y dy which is same as e raised to minus 2 log of y and which is same as because this is this will be same as log of y raised to minus 2 and e raised to e and log gets cancelled so you have 1 upon y square as your integrating factor multiplying this integrating factor to the given equation we get an exact equation so multiplying integrating factor to the given equation 1 we get an exact equation and what is that equation okay the first m term m is 3x square y raised to 4 plus 2xy the whole raised to whole by in, uh, into 1 by y square so that is by y square this into dx plus n is 2x cube y cube minus x square the whole thing by y square into dy is equal to 0 this is an exact equation let me call this as star so we will solve this so the solution of this star uh, will be the solution for the given equation so uh, let me call this as new m1 m1 here is i'll write down this term y so m1 is 3x square y square plus 2x by y and n1 is same as 2x cube y minus x square y square so in n1 you can see that there is no term independent of no term not containing x okay so the solution of star is given by the formula integral of this m1 i will not write down this uh, integral of this m1 that is 3x square y square plus 2x by y into dx plus integral of terms of n not containing x both the term contain x so there will be nothing this is zero, 0 equal to some constant that gives us integrating this integrating with respect to x you have 3x cube uh, by 3 so x cube y square 3 gets cancelled plus uh, integrating yeah 2x square by 2 1 by y constant 2 gets cancelled so x square by y is equal to c that's the solution we'll see one more problem from the same rule look at this m is given as in this case 3y cube plus 3x square y and n is given as 2x cube plus 12x y square so first thing always we need to check for the exactness so do m by do y in this case will be do m by do y so 9y square plus 3x square and do n by do x is same as 6x square plus 12y square and uh, you can see that they are not equal which implies that the given equation is not 
exact two is non exact so we need to find a rule suitable rule for this so now in this case again if it's again come through observation so if i see the difference do n by do x minus do m by do y you have a like term 6x square 3x square 2 y, 12y square 9y square and and m is of the form 3y cube plus 3x square y so if you take y common you will have y square uh, x square term inside so let's see whether if if uh, it's uh, possible to cancel out the term and get the function of y alone so we see the difference do n by min uh, do n by do x minus do m by do y which is same as 6x square plus 12y square minus 9y square minus 3x square so that same as 3x square plus 3y square right and if i di divide this by uh, m then what i'll get i'll get so from here i can take 3 common 3x square plus y square and m can be written as i'll remove 3y from m and so you have y square plus x square so that is exactly same as 1 by y and that's a function of y alone and i can call this as phi of y so uh, since this difference by m is a function of y alone it uh, belongs to rule 2 and thus the integrating factor rule 3 and thus the integrating factor is given by e raised to integral of 1 by y dy that same as e raised to log of y that is same as that is same as y so multiplying this integrating factor to 1 multiplying y to uh, the given equation 2 we get an exact equation which is given by okay so what is your m you just multiply y to your m so m is 3y cube plus 3x square y so that is same as 3y raised to 4 plus 3x square y square into dx plus plus 2x cube again multiply y to the n 12xy cube dy is equal to 0 that's your and this is your m1 this is your n1 so the solution to this equation is given by solution to star solution to star is given by this would be the faster method uh, to compute the uh, compute the solution to of an exact equation rather than using definition so the solution is given by integral of this 3y raised to 4 plus 3x square y square uh, with respect to x right plus the terms of n1 not containing x and both the term contain x so there is nothing to write equal to c and that same as 3y raised to 4x plus 3x cube by 3 so that is x cube y square is equal to c that's a final solution so with this i end up with the today's session and in the next lecture we will discuss some more rules there are altogether six rules so three rules are yet left to be uh, discussed thank you for watching this video